Last night, over a hundred comic book fans lined up outside Midtown Comics in Times Square to meet Dave Gibbons, the artist who, along with writer Alan Moore, created the groundbreaking work of graphic fiction, Watchmen. Jeff Thomas from the Bronx bought the original comic book series when it first came out in the 1980s, and he remembers how the fictional vigilante heroes of Watchmen didn't seem so imaginary. New York at the time, I remember, was a lot of vigilante justice. We had Bernie Goetz around the same time period. You know, it's like what you wanted to go out and do, couldn't, you know, fulfillment of the superhero in reality, I guess. The New York City of Watchmen is part sci-fi and part hyper-real. I asked artist Dave Gibbons what inspired his unique take on Gotham. Growing up in England, uh, New York has always been like some far-off kind of Babylon, you know, some mythical place. And I remember when I first came to New York, what I really wanted to see and what I was really thrilled to see was not the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, the Brooklyn Bridge, but it was the water towers on the top of buildings that Spider-Man used to swing into and have all his battles amongst. Uh, the wonderful thing about Watchmen was, because it asked the question, what would the world be like if there were superheroes, it would obviously be different, and obviously New York would be different. So although in many ways it's recognisable, you know, that there is the Chrysler building that we can see quite clearly, and also there are airships in the sky, because again, because our superhero Dr Manhattan can transmute the elements, you know, there's, there's cheap um, helium available, and uh, so the modes of transport have been subtly changed by it all. But... Um, New York always seemed to me to be the place where the superheroes lived, and indeed, that alternate New York is where the heroes in Watchmen live. Dave Gibbons' book, Watching the Watchmen, is out now.